And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Doki Doki Logic Club. This is once again Bob Mav, aka Doc Wildcard. And I'm hoping I can have a more happy and upbeat kind of thing for poor Sayori here. Like, although I had head cannoned um, when I had ended uh, the last one, that, like, she was happy. Oh, I want to see if, like, if, like, uh, like, the poems I write are more directed at her. If we can, like, have a, a more happy overall story. Because I like happy things. I don't like, I don't like things that are, like, all sad and that kind of thing. So I'm at least going to try for that. Uh, hopefully that's not going to lead to anything with any of the others. But I get the feeling it probably will. But if it does, I can just head cannon that that didn't happen. Enough talk. Let's do this. Malcolm Jenkins. I'm rewriting the Leroy Jenkins meme as Malcolm Jenkins because we are the Super Bowl champs. Us Eagles, and Malcolm Jenkins is one of the Eagles. Hey! I see the annoying girl. I feel guilty saying that part. What happened the last time? But anyway, running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air, which is totally oblivious, paying attention to my draw to herself. That girl, Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, kind of friend you'd never see yourself make it today, but it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But she's gonna feel But she's gonna chase after me like this. I almost feel I just I just can't like after knowing everything that the uh, background is, but anyway. I'm going to turn the volume up just a bit. <sighs> I overslept again. I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah, you see, like, that like you were thinking about ignoring me. It's mean, Bob and Mob. Oh, and uh, in case anyone has forgotten, I, I might as well just make this a thing. Any time I do uh, a new playthrough of any kind, um, my nickname, Bob and Mob, comes from when I was, in fact, in high school myself, as this game takes place in. I, I, yeah. I would do um, all kinds of mafiosi impressions, like, uh, I'll do like a, um, a raspy kind of a voice. I'll make it like hand motions, like, like Mal. I was gonna say Malcolm. <laughs> um, Marlon, Brand, like Marlon Brando in The Godfather. And um, and so people start calling me Bob the Mob because of me doing those impressions. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, I don't... Why did I say it that way? Because you... I was supposed to say, say it as weird, because weird... is weird, like... Like, as in odd, and it is weird... As in, like... Stalkers, and that kind of thing. That That's how I... Uh, differentiate between the two of them, anyway. Because I think there should be a, a, a differentiation between... Uh, the pronunciations, depending on what you mean. But anyway... For acting weird, I don't think, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. 
I'm fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to be in you to be mean to me even if you want to. Well, you say so. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making the daily commute. By the way, Bob and Mav, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I've been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? So it's possible that I did in one of my many conversations where I dismissed the girl along with whatever she was talking on about. So he likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly contentious. Not. And I'm never going to say that. For, for, for developers of a game that like it has like self-aware kinds of features and such. They should realize, I'm I'm just saying this in like a joking way and such, because I know like no one can hear me like the, the me of this game and everything. But I'm just saying this, just feeling sorry. That I should never, that I'm never going to say about this part. Okay, I'm not a weeb. All right, I'm not against those kinds of people. Some of them are actually pretty cool, but I'm not an otaku myself, alright? I'm not going to say that I'm obsessed with anime. The only anime that I watch in this day and age is Fairy Tale, and, and in this case it's spelled Tango Alpha India Lima. That's the military phonetics for what it is in civilian, T-A-I-L. And I watch that, I watch Fairy Tale because it's a show that has a, a lot of hilarity in it. Uh huh. I was talking about how worried you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. I know you're happy now, but I thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Now, from what I understand, I, I have looked this up since uh, the last playthrough. Uh, from what I understand, that means not in education, employment, or training. From what I understand, that's what that stands for. And uh, Doki Doki, from what I can understand, is like... Um, in the Japanese language, uh, it's like the approximation of what is interpreted as the sound of a heartbeat. From what I've come to understand. Because this, this whole game uh, takes place in Japan. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. School days and lower days ever, it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an out of motivation. Clubs. So he wants me to check out some clubs. Okay, I'm not saying it, alright? I'm just not saying it. So you might as well just get rid of this. From, from, from my account. Okay, I'll try to stop now. No promises though. 
Hello! So you want me to... So you want me to come in the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought, could you come out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, if you could come to my club! <sighs> yeah? There is no way I'm going to see your club. Mini. <laughs> see, I was vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm ninety-nine percent sure she only did because she thought it'd be cool, be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest in after. The one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. And I'm not going to say that either, because I do love to read. <sighs> Give me the strength. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring a new member. And Atsuki made the cupcakes and everything. Hehehe. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. You can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or she's so cunning as to plan all this out. for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I don't know if I ever find that line of music. I dejectedly follow the way across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori full of energy swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you don't call me a new member. Eh? Glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. See, so he always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? We kill the atmosphere. Oh, Bob and Bob, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Our words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? You want to say something, say it. S sorry. That's so cute. <laughs> Girl with the sale attitude whose name is apparently not Suki is one I don't recognize. A small th figure makes you th think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes called Sayori. You should just ignore her when she gets moody. Oh. Ah! Can't believe I forgot that. I pride myself on having a memory like an elephant because I am one. I'm a Republican. Hey! But yeah, and, and yet I forget that. I forgot that, that that's supposed to be said quietly. I, I still say and will always say that 
with all due respect to the developers of this game, and I do respect them a lot, uh, they really should have had it so that you know, uh, like, like there's, there's something in parentheses or something, so that you know that it's like you're supposed to say something quietly if you're doing a playthrough like this. Anyway. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears constantly more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Bob and Mouth. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. And I'm never going to say this. As I've stated before in my previous uh, uh, playthrough, the previous part of this playthrough series, <clears throat> in this part, I, I just, I can't stand it when people say this, this kind of thing about themselves. Like when people belittle themselves. Like you should have some self-confidence, you know? Like, like in real life, like in, in games, in real life, anything. I, I don't, I don't like it when people talk that way about themselves. So having this smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You too, Mike. Come sit down, Bob. We made room for you at the table. You should sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Atsuki and Yori walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens a closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. <clears throat> okay, are you ready? Ta-da! And this is another thing I'm going to always have to say. That that, that reminds me of the uh, of that one Temi in the Temi Village uh, in Undertale. Because um, like th this whole thing here, what's that there and what's about to be said. Uh, I mean, like a few lines more. Atsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Is there's this one Temi in Temi Village who says that uh, when I when you go up to her and you talk to her, she says, Humans, shut your... Cute. Can't help but wonder if Dan Salvato was a fan of that game. I had no idea you were so good at picking that, Suki. Hey, <laughs> well, you know. It's Terry you take one. So Eddie grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. Oh, for water. So he talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. Turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. 
Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Just wait for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. It's really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Make me forget or anything. Yeah, I thought technically you did. Say so you said... Well, maybe! But not for, you, you know, you, dummy! Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yoi returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of us before setting down the teapot next to the, tea, next to the cupcake tray. We keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? And again, the I said about uh, I, it it does indeed any any kind of a beverage has a warming property. Uh, I helps out with that, especially when it's hard. I find the best way to enjoy any kind of a horror story is late at night. By a fireplace, uh, if you have one, or a campfire, or something like that. And uh, having uh, something with a uh, warming property, like a, a mug of warm cocoa or, or some tea or something like that. Um, I guess. <laughs> Don't touch yourself. Get intimidated. You're always just trying to impress you. Eh? That's not. The salty Yoi looks away. I meant to, you know. I believe you. Well, Tim Reed my. Again, that, that's not really true for me. Anyway. I'm glad. Ellie faintly smiles to herself and leave. Michael raises his eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell my kid I was practically trapped here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Yeah, I wonder. Mike, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? Probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the Bay Club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I couldn't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Micah really is a great leader. Yo, he also nods in agreement. But I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. 
I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, so interested in the same goal. I think must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delayed by the idea of a new number joining. And this, again, is not me. Just saying. So, Bob and Mom, what kinds of things do you like to read? And this is why I'm going to miss so much trying to... Like, trying to to get her as my girlfriend in this because like she's so much like me in real life like the whole thing about uh, like big time psychological horror fan and uh she has that knife collection totally badass and it's just uh it's gonna hurt, but I do want to try to get like a happy thing after uh, like there been something so heavy which they already in last time. So it's something that must be done. Anyway, but yeah, I I, I love reading all kinds of things, but as I said, especially horror and especially psychological horror and most especially the undisputed master of horror in literature Edgar Allan Poe whom I salute the heavens when I speak his name because he had in fact served in the military and I'm still quite frankly I wouldn't quite use the term disgusted because that's a bit too strong a word, but I, I do, I just cannot believe that, that there was nothing about any of Poe's works included in this game. He's not like even mentioned that I've played thus far. Uh, hopefully when a patch is made, there will be additions references to him anyway well I soon how and again that doesn't really work for me and I'm not saying that either okay manga is also a weeb thing and again while I have no problem with such people I am not such myself, all right? That's what he says on the perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. This blah, blah, blah. Anyway, what about you, Yoi? Well, let's see. You know, he traces the room a teacup with a finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. He you know, goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up since she finds the comfort in the world of books, not people. <clears throat> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you through a loop? See? 
that. I hate when I do that. Yeah, and I, I read four more than just one, so. So that doesn't really work. Blah, blah, blah. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Severe horror is often very successful at the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Indeed, it is. Surreal horror. Psychological horror. Best kind. And in uh, there is no more fine example of such than in Edgar Allan Poe's greatest masterpiece in horror, The Telltale Heart. Ah, I hate horror. And that's why it's going to be so difficult trying for her at some point in the game because like I, I want to try to just like like find out what all of the stories are the backstories are for all of them even though i've had it so much spoiled for me because no one keeps their mouths shut or, or more accurately their their keep their fingers off the keyboards or i want to put it typing up stuff on on line and then post it and have it in the sidebar or YouTube videos and anyway <sighs> that's what's going to make it difficult going her route oh what's that but I just that's who his eyes dart over to me for a split second never mind and, and and this too, for her to be like into cutesy kinds of things, like I, I just can't. It's part of being a classic red, white, and blue-blooded Billy son. We don't do cutesy here in Billy, the birthplace of this, the single greatest nation of all time, the glorious, indestructible United States of America. What? What give you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud! <laughs> give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> Your cupcakes, your poems. Everything about you is just as cute as you are. So he sidles up behind that Suki and puts their hands on his shoulders. I'm not cute! That's Suki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why well, you see him sometime? N no! That Suki averts your eyes. You wouldn't like them. I'm not very confident ready yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for you, Yori. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems.
Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Yeah. Atsuki and Yori will quiz Queen Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um. Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Pop Mob? Marcus like smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So I may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. So I have other clubs to look at and... Um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... but I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Mob. He, you're all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear decision when it's like this? Okay, and again, it's not really a price to pay because they. Writing poetry, I, I've done that. In my spare time on my own for fun. I, I, but yeah, anyway. Right. Okay, I decide then. I'll join the Glitch Club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! See how he wraps around, the arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey! You really did scare me for a moment. You really just came for the cupcakes and we super pissed. And that makes it official. Welcome to the Virtual Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Mike looks over at me once more. Bob Mob, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> you, yeah. I'm not going to say this either. As I said, I, I hate when people like speak badly about themselves. You, you just shouldn't do it because um, in the words of I think it was um, I think it was Confucius about watch your thoughts they become your words, watch your words they become your actions, something along those lines. And I believe that to be true. And so people should not think themselves to be mediocre or anything like that because it, then that becomes what they are, it, if they think themselves to be such. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat and Yuri, as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Bob, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed there after school for clubs. So I might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. All the way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Matsuki, Yori, and of course, Makika. Oh, I will be happy spending every day after school with your club. 
Traps don't have a chance to grow close to one of these girls. All right. Just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm so good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. 